All right, want to do a video addressing accusations of Islamophobia because this word of Islamophobia is often thrown around against pretty much anybody, regardless if they're Christian or not, who says anything critical about any kind of aspect of Islam or any kind of Islamic doctrine. So it's a very abused word to the point where it basically has no meaning anymore. Uh, it's insane, but I want to address claims, you know, because you know people have been calling me names for all for ever since I've been online, pretty much. I want to address some of these claims of Islamophobia. Uh, and if I seem a bit kind of low or energetic, you know, I'm on day two of a caffeine withdrawal, so uh, it does seem to kill a lot of energy, so just bear with me on that whole thing. But anyway, I'm going to address some of these accusations. So, you know, like I was saying, I want to address these accusations because it seems that anybody, any Bible-believing Christian who says anything critical about Islam from a biblical standpoint is called Islamophobic, and we're called, you know, you're an Islamophobe, you're this, you're that, you know. Uh, first, we have to define what Islamophobia is. Islamophobia is an irrational fear of or aversion to or discrimination against Islam or those who practice Islam. Okay, so here's the thing. If I was an Islamophobe, it would mean that I would have an irrational fear or some kind of irrational aversion to Islam, which is not true at all. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say this, by the way. Uh, I do have an aversion to Islam. I'm, I'm going to be open about that. But it's far from being irrational. It's actually based on God's holy word, uh, particularly John 3.36, John 14.6, and Acts chapter 4, verse 10 to 12. Here's what those verses say. John 3.36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Uh, John 14.6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And also Acts chapter 4, verse 10 to 12. Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which is set at which is which was set, sorry, at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Okay? My criticism of Islam is based on a biblical premise on the fact that Jesus Christ is the only means of salvation and the only way of salvation. Uh, my criticism of Islam is also based on the reality that Bible-believing Christians are persecuted and killed on a near daily basis in uh, countries ruled by Islam. It's, it's pretty much a daily occurrence of persecution against Christians in Islamic countries and even in Western Europe where you, you kind of have a majority you know, non-Muslim Christian population. Uh, even then, they're being you know attacked and persecuted on a near daily basis by Islamic migrants, like in countries like France and everything else. Uh, it's insane. So yeah, I, you know, I kind of have even even if if there's no scripture I could use, I still would have a reason to criticize it because look what they're doing to us. You know, I've, I've covered that extensively on this channel. So no, I'm not Islamophobic. I don't fear Islam. I don't fear Muslims. In fact, I don't hate them because I want to see them get born again. See, if I hated them, I would I would just you know uh, be silent about the gospel and just watch them plunder uh, plummet into hell. Which is not true. If you hated Muslims, you don't see somebody who hates Muslims would just be silent about the gospel and watch them plummet into hell. That's that's what somebody would do. That's what I would do if I if I hated Muslims. So I wanted to point that out. So just quick little rebuttal and addressing to this these idiotic claims of Islamophobia, which are, again the word is just misused so much now that it's basically lost all meaning. Pretty much anybody who says anything critical about Islam is Islamophobic. So according to these. these uh, weirdos who use it, who just throw around this term as if it's nothing. So anyway, wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.